Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I want to talk all about the 80-20 training principle. And this is a very simple concept. It's been around for a while. Um, you can apply it to basically any endurance sport. And I think who this video might be most helpful to are those of you that are self-coached that feel like maybe you're just stuck with your fitness or your your goals you're not improving um, ha really listen to this video and uh, maybe see if this concept has not been applying to your training so far okay so the 80 20 principle basically means that you want to be doing 80 percent of your training at a lower intensity and 20 percent of your training at a higher intensity now obviously going into a training program, applying this concept, you need to have a very clear separation of what makes up the lower intensity and what makes up the higher intensity. And just as an example, let's take myself uh, this week specifically, um, I'm looking at running about 120 kilometers. And out of that 120 kilometers, I have two days that are at higher intensity. And that looks like uh, one of the days is 10 by 800 meters on the track, so 8K of work. And then the other day, I think it's uh, four by 5K, so another 20K of work. You add those two workouts together, that's 28K of higher intensity out of the 120. So that's uh, about 23% of higher intensity for me this week. And that ratio is pretty common for me. Uh, some weeks it might be a little bit lower, some weeks it might be a little bit higher. And I think where a lot of athletes uh, really get this wrong is they start straying way too far outside of that 80-20 ratio. Uh, lots of people I know, they'll even do the reverse basically they're doing 20 80 20 percent lower intensity 80 percent high intensity and what they're specifically doing wrong is their lower intensity isn't low enough so again just to take myself as an example uh, this week my 80 percent makes up about 90k of running and all of those runs are based on heart rate not pace so when I go do my easy runs or easy bike rides, they're based on heart rate. So I have a ceiling of about 145 beats per minute and I make sure I don't cross over that during my easy sessions. And honestly, it's really only during those high, that 20% higher intensity that I really care about what my pace is. So like I mentioned, a lot of athletes are just doing their easy workouts way too hard. Um, so let's say you're an athlete and you're training for the marathon and your goal marathon pace is, let's say, four minutes a kilometer. You might be doing all of your easy sessions at four minutes a kilometer up to, let's say, 420. Um, quite simply, that's just way too fast. And of course, you're going to have the outliers when it comes to this uh, training principle. You're going to have people that train hard all the time and they still have good race results. Um, I would argue they're probably not living up to their potential. But regardless, once you start straying too far outside of this 80-20 principle, um, gains are, they don't come as fast. Now one of the reasons I'm making this video is because I recently just read a book called 80-20 uh, Running by Matt Fitzgerald. And you don't have to take my word on how important this 80-20 principle is. You can pick up this book and read through it and there is case study after case study showing you exactly why this principle works and what happens when you start to stray too far outside of that. So anyways, if you're stuck, go back on your Strava or training peaks or training logs and look at kind of where your ratio has been. I've found for a lot of type A athletes, uh, training easy using heart rate is a really good way to hold you back. So if you think you've been struggling to train easy enough, uh, maybe look at heart rate training for those easy sessions. And like I already mentioned, if you're curious more on the subject, pick up that book. It's a fantastic read. I don't. I usually don't buy these types of books, but this one really was an awesome book. And like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.